The Institute is founded to respond to the most critical health threats the world is facing. I think of the Institute as a hub within a hub. And so, of course, we have a lot of scientific expertise within the Institute, but we also benefit from the partnerships that we have with the college more broadly, uh, with the expertise that we have, but also the collaborations across the world. This diverse team with a single purpose is what uh, sets Jamil Institute apart. Interdisciplinary, you know, we're not a group of economists or a group of epidemiologists or a group of um, healthcare system modelers. We're all of those things put together. The Jamil Institute are experts in a wide range of areas, not just infectious disease epidemiology, but also non-communicable diseases, environmental health and health economics. Using modern data analytics and the tools associated with that to find optimal solutions with partners to some of those threats, both emergencies like pandemics, but also the diseases which affect humanity for longer time periods. So far we've absolutely done that during the COVID-19 pandemic and what's exciting is what we now do next. Well, I think the Institute was on the forefront in what has actually been a transformation in the way we do population health. The pandemic forced all of us to be more responsive, to be faster, to develop new methods of doing research, of communicating it, and really ultimately to, to guide decisions and responses. We were among the first institutes worldwide to recognize the scale of threat and indeed quantify what risk um, COVID-19 posed to the world. And so we, we've been working throughout with governments around the world, with partners in both academia and in the public sector and private sectors to use the tools we develop, of mathematical modeling, data analytics, to both understand the spread of the virus, but also inform control measures and the application of things like vaccines. Having a team of people that have been so closely involved in the work throughout this period means that we can apply the lessons we've learned here to future disease outbreaks and make sure that the information we've gained from this pandemic is appropriately applied in our future responses. So as we are hopefully beginning to move out of the immediate COVID crisis, we will focus our energy on, of course, still outbreak response. I mean, there are other diseases that are continuously threatening population health, such as Ebola. But we will be moving more towards pandemic preparedness, for which we understand as something very broad and compassing in improving the resilience of populations, particularly the most vulnerable po populations, to deal with health emergencies, be they epidemics or other disasters. Our team, particularly working on infectious diseases, but also looking at different changes in, in extreme weather, will really play a key role in how we as a society and a world move forward. I enjoy uh, the science, but also I think something that's very specific to uh, what this institute does is translating the science into something that is really useful to improve the quality of life of people worldwide. So yes, I really enjoy what I do and I hope I continue doing it for a long time.